When I was first ordained at the age of 27, within about three weeks of my ordination, I came to the clergy retreat at the Bishop's Ranch up in Sonoma County. And it was really the first time I met all my fellow colleagues. And as I arrived, I was walking up the dirt road and there was David Forbes walking towards me. He knew my name, he knew where I grew up, he knew where I went to school, he knew all these facts about me. And he was the only one in those first five years or so who always knew my name, always greeted me. And it began a, a lifetime friendship. You never know when you first meet somebody what it's going to lead to. And for the two of us, he's been a kind of mentor for, to me for 30 years. David's had a huge influence on the life of this cathedral. It was his idea to write in the beginning on the main lectern. So it says in the beginning in Greek, Hebrew, and Latin. He was the one who um, put the high altar where the high altar is and designed it. He designed and um, chose the vestments that we wear uh, and just many intangible things too about how we worship, the words we use in services. Uh, and perhaps most importantly, he was the founder of the Cathedral School for Boys. You can, you can see his image in the mural right behind me. Um, and it always makes me smile when I see him there. David died in April of 2022, and I missed him terribly. I, I go past the restaurant where the two of us would eat lunches together, uh, and I think of him nearly every day. That's why last week, an old weathered um, envelope arrived in the mail, and uh, it was a, a letter from his daughters, and this is um, one of the lines from it. It says, we found these original typewritten sermons among his things and we knew he would have wanted you to have them. And so I have all the sermons, the original sermons that he wrote when he was in his 20s. And so he writes so boldly and with so much confidence to reassure people before the election of Bishop Pike um, that things were going to be okay, that we were going to elect a good uh, bishop. He also um, writes very powerful social justice sermons. He was passionate about racial justice, you know, from the time he was in his 20s to when he was in his late 90s. Um, but this is a sermon that he wrote when he was in his early 20s. It's from August of 1959. On a bookshelf in my office is a series of brush drawing meditations on the prayer of consecration in the Holy Eucharist. They're entitled All Glory and represent the devotion and artistry of a black layman of the Episcopal Church Alan Rohan Kreit. Prominent among these striking drawings is one showing a run-down industrial neighborhood surrounding an altar at which a priest is celebrating Holy Communion. Over the entire scene, there is superimposed the figure of a black Christ hanging on a cross, surrounded by the angelic host. Through powerful strokes and vivid imagery, the drawing speaks a world of wisdom about God, the church, and the world we live in. He goes on to say this, let us think first of the nature and responsibility of incarnation. Here's a black artist who out of the faithful and prayerful devotion shows our Lord as a brother um, African American. In that portrayal, he shows a deep understanding of the never to be forgotten fact that when God deals with human beings, he comes to them in compassionate and understandable terms. Here, Mr. Kreit seems to be saying, is someone who can know me because he does know me, my neighborhood, the fear around the next corner and what lies beyond it. He knows what it feels like to be confronted by whites only signs in restaurants or no vacancy signs in white districts. And sensing this, our artist sees God identifying himself with him and his world. He sees Jesus Christ as the incarnate Son of God. I was so grateful that in the package that the daughters of David sent, they, he included this beautiful stole. And uh, the stole was given to David by his parents on his ordination when he was in his 20s here at Grace Cathedral. And I think of him kissing the back of the stole the way that we always do before we vest for, for worship. And I imagine David, I'm so grateful to him. I'm grateful to him for what he's done for the cathedral and for the world and for me. My name is Malcolm Clemens Young. I'm the Dean of Grace Cathedral here in San Francisco, California. Thanks for watching. More good news.